YouTube, what's good everybody? This King Dooms. This right here is NBA 2K14 next gen patch list. What needs to be patched from crews, from current gen going into next gen. And this is assuming that they don't bring the real crew mode back. A couple of people I talked to back in August, we were saying maybe they saving the real crew for next gen. That would be smart. It'll, be, it'll get them money if they got a way to come up with money for it. But as time progressed and seeing what they did with this cruise, and seeing how well my team got upgraded i don't think it's going to be back in next gen i don't see it happening just don't i want to be proven wrong so bad this is the one time i want to be proved wrong but the way 2k has been over this time up until 2k 14 till now like they give me no reason to be optimistic so just going off what i think and what i know and just moving on with it but right now, I'm giving y'all the ideas on what needs to be patched, suggestions for crews. Because y'all know those that play crew, crews, know that that mode is broken to a certain extent. The only thing good about it is that you get to run with your homeboys. The gameplay is good. Blocking dunks, you just can't run and dunk on people. You can't just, you can't hit threes consistently. That's... That's a love-hate thing, though, depending on how the way your crew plays, but that's really a love-hate thing because you can be wide open at, like, create your own shot wide open but still miss threes. It's like you can't hit no more than three threes in a row, but that's that simulation game style for you. But getting into what I want to talk about, the number one thing that can make crews a game changer is bringing in the NBA regulation into crews. Take away first to 21, win by two, Black top style street basketball style take that away and just make it NBA rules. Just like y'all did in 2K11. 2K11 pickup games and 2K10 pickup games. We was playing on the black top. Four or five minute quarters. It had fouls. It was got a shooting foul. You got free throws. It had violations. Three seconds in the key. Five second inbounds. Eight second violation. It had all that. NBA regulation. Integrate that into crews as possible. Because this first of 21 is cool, but people reaching, spamming the X button, stand, standing under the goal, waiting for the ball, getting, getting thrown at them for the easy layup is annoying. And this counters that. It makes people move around. It makes people hesitate on them, pressing the X button, calling fouls. So that can prevent all that. Just bringing in NBA regulation. Number two, the court is too small. The court is way too small. It's hard to maneuver around without getting stuck on somebody. You run out of bounds a lot, trying to run plays, trying to spot up. It'd be times where people will spot up on the baseline, but the the game will home and like their foot just step out of bounds and they'll struggle catching the ball. And that just shows that the court is too small, man. Suggestions for that? Y'all know the scrimmage mode in my career. Why can't we play on the court like that? We don't have to have a crowd for crews. We didn't have one. Playing pickup games on 2K11, 2K10. We didn't have no crowd there, but we can play on some type of gym or arena. Or just just whatever court y'all bring into next gen 2K14. It has to be bigger than the one in current gen 2K14 because that court is way too small. A perfect example is like when you're getting bum rush bringing up the ball. Three people just, just come up tapping X on you. And then, like I said, you'll get into an animation. Once you're in the animation, you can't pass the ball. Two people will, like, back off and get back to the people so quick you can't pass the ball. You're going to force a turnover. That's, that's an issue right there, 2K. So, got to get that in there. Those are really the main two things, like, that can change crews. If I'm forgetting something, put it in the comment section. I'm sending this to LD, Ronnie, all them. Like before, I hope they watch my videos. I highly doubt they do, but I hope, man, because... We, this is the two main things that needs to be integrated into crews to like make the mode perfected. Another thing, this, this is more of a personal reason, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people would like this to be on their screen. We should be able to see our signature skills, like how it is in my career, or bring it back like 2K13, where our signature skills are just sitting on the screen with our points, rebounds, and assists. Just like how it was. I don't know why that was taken, taken out, but that was a feature that. I, I used like I was cool with because it, it lets me know 
what signature skills are being activated how can I use it how can I chain it to the next signature skill if I got if I got the right skills for that situation and that's just something personal I'm pretty sure a lot of people will want that so 2k get that back for next gen man get the little menu for the signature skills back up if you bring it in like my career in 2k 14 current gen that's fine cuz it cuz once it's activated it pops down it drops down like a little sub menu under your under your points under your stats so that'd be cool man also this was a little request I have from my homie short dog uh, in my team I'm not going way off topic with my team but this was a great suggestion that I have for my team to fix that mode for next gen of course to balance out this mode and to make people be patient and make them wait for gold players perfect example ninth eighth and seventh seed you should only be able to purchase bronze players and bronze packs sixth fifth and fourth seed you should only be able to purchase silver and bronze packs players boosters third second and first seed gets upgraded to gold and sapphire that's the only suggestion i could come up with for my team it makes a lot of sense you won't have to worry about playing those super teams in the early seeds and as it gets harder that's when you run into the super teams that's how it should be and i'm not i'm not sure what the reward is for my team for getting into the first into the one seed this time 2k 13 it was getting mj but i'm not sure what it is in 2k 14 yeah that's my suggestion for him and for all the my team people i should i want to get back on my team but i'm gonna hold out until next gen because i'm can't lie to you i'm addicted to cruise it's something about it that I can't stop playing it. I want to keep playing it. It got it has its issues, but that's why I made this video, man. I just noticed that I am creeping up on 600 subscribers, and if if I hit that mark, I'm not I'm humble, y'all know. I'm not gonna assume things, but it's been a long it's been a long journey, man. I've been doing this YouTube thing since last year, and then got to this point, man. We're just gonna keep it pushing. I appreciate all the support, all the people that comment on my videos, that have constructive criticism, that feedback that I can work on makes me better and provide better entertainment for y'all, man. I appreciate it all. Those that are rocking with me, those that I hit up on Twitter, that hit me up on Twitter, y'all know I respond to everything on Twitter. So that's why y'all need to follow me, man. No matter ideas, y'all got any ideas that I didn't mention? Please, please put it down in the comment section, man. I'm sending this to everybody at 2K, man. Well, LD, Ronnie, 2K Sports, all they Twitter handle names. I'm sending it to all of them. And just hope we get the right cruise mode in 2K14 next gen. I don't see the real crew mode coming back. I just don't. If you do, hey, that's you. I got a different mindset now with 2K. I'm just going by what they put in the game. As long as I can play with my my player online with my friends and they're my players, I can accept it. But the gameplay and the settings have to be right. This King Dooms. Subscribe, like, and comment. Follow me on Twitter at King X Dooms with two eyes. Peace.